Hi Libra, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. Let's get into it. Let's see how you feel about your person, how they feel about you. Thank you God for blessing Libra with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Libra, let's see how you feel about your person. How does Libra feel about their person? Okay, first card out the knight of cups so you feel like they're very romantic they're very giving they want to make you fall in love or they're very gentleman like or lady like um they like the newness of love they like fun they're creative they listen to spirit they may have a level of spirituality about them they could be in a profession of hairstylist or salon owner or something where they do something creative it could be cosmetology it could be uh, Something where where um, there there is inspiration, you know. They get inspiration, they get inspired, and then they create here. Um, you also can feel like maybe a person has unrealistic expectations in love here. They like the newness of love, um, but they don't know how to maintain the relationship here, you know, because things are getting is getting to the thick of it right now, and it's about maintenance of the relationship. Let's see, Libra, how you feel like maybe they're flirt also. You know, they have a lot of different people that they like to flirt with. They're still on quest or conquest, still trying to conquer other people, other love relationships. Let's see. How, how else does Libra feel about their person? Could be dealing with an Aquarius. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. How does Libra feel about their person? The Ten of Cups, you feel like um, there is happiness here. But sometimes the Ten of Cups can indicate like... The stage is set for happiness, but it's, it's still about performance. You know, maybe this person isn't performing back to um, maintenance. Um, you feel like you could have a family with them. You feel like on a surface level, there is happiness. But somebody needs to make something real, something solid, something stable. The manifestation, you know, it needs to be real, like in the Ten of Pentacles. So you feel like maybe your person is having a hard time making uh, the relationship uh solid stable real maybe even bringing in real money or real energy or stabilizing you just feel like um i don't know it could be like foo foo it, it, uh, it's fluff it's not you know nothing is really changing that is how you feel nothing is really changing or that it's not changing into the realization it might not be a forever thing you know you can't create a relationship off of fluff maybe that's how you feel something is um is off here let's see how your person feels about you libra uh the nine of wands so they feel like maybe you're trying to determine if you should even fight for this relationship because it's been rocky um I'm hearing like everyday struggle or uphill battle. Um, you feel like your person is always looking in the past or always looking behind them, or always engaged with past things and not in the present, not making futuristic decisions um, about you, about the relationship. You feel like your person is disconnected, uh, maybe non-committal for some of you. Or this person, this is how they feel about you. Like you're non-committal, you're not, you're disconnected, you're always looking in the past. Um, you don't know if you should fight for this. How does Libra's person feel about them? How does Libra's person? Yeah, like you're giving up before the miracle of the relationship actually really happens. The Eight of Cups, they feel like you're walking away. Yeah, despondent, checked out. You know, you're analyzing yourself and the choices that you've made in regards to this relationship. Maybe they feel like you're not giving anymore. You're not open anymore. Um, you feel a, a sense of regret. Yeah. Uh, this is how your person thinks, you know, thinks about you or this is how they feel about you. Let's see what the advice is for you, Libra. What is the advice for Libra? What is the advice for Libra? The high priestess do nothing right now because things are going to just fall in place here with the high priestess. Um, not... Not only are they going to fall in place, um, you're going to get some answers. You're going to get some spiritual downloads. Your dreams may be, um, write down your dreams right now. It may be vivid or they may be vivid. 
Um, you may be getting some insights, some downloads. Um, it's like you have an inner knowing of or about this situation, but altogether, the high priestess says do nothing because there is knowing. There, there's like an inner knowing. Listen to your intuition also. Listen to your intuition. Some of you are with child or you don't know it yet or you will be. Take the high road. You live rent free in someone's mind. You're the person that they put above everyone else, even if they don't tell you. Um, again, it's, it just says uh, right now, do nothing. Let's see. Um, if you take the advice of the cards, what's the outcome? The five of pentacles and the eight of swords. Um, it's like you're going to force someone's hand. Someone's going to feel. Okay. I knew it. Okay, so, and that's why I said that. Somebody lived, lived, you live rent-free in someone's mind, in someone's head, okay? And you ignoring them and not acknowledging this relationship and let it be in this place right here and you're not doing the work to get it back, it's going to uh, push them to take matters into their own hands with the magician here. Maybe matters of getting on the right path or back in good standing with you, the star card, healing, releasing their fears, releasing old baggage, uh, also speaking about how they feel with you. So it's like you, you're you forcing their hand and you're pushing the ball into their court. It's not on you to do the work, all the work in this relationship. So it's like, do nothing right now. You know, do nothing. Um, let's see, what is the hidden element here for Libra? What is the hidden? Because somebody's okay with you coming to the rescue or you have always done that. But uh, you can't do it. You gotta let them be in this in this um, this lack this lack of attention, lack of money. Maybe you always were giving. Yeah. Let's see. What is the hidden element for Libra? Okay. Yeah, volunteer. Yeah, you always volunteer. You always you always were the one to maybe pull them out of the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords says. Somebody who's always they're waiting for the cavalry, waiting for rescue, waiting for someone to come in and save the day. Um, they feel trapped. They feel, you know, stuck. And maybe that was you always showing up to the rescue. And this could even be in terms of um, maybe it was you always rebuilding the connection, always putting energy back into in the connection, making it work. Um, just you always doing all the work. Let them volunteer this time. And it looks like they will. Yeah, you will. There will be some stepping up because there are significant changes, family changes on the horizon for the both of you. And also, um, yeah, someone's going to make some change here because they're going to see how much you mean to them. And they're also going to see the change that has happened within you because you're going to turn into the high priestess. This is what I have for you. If it resonates, uh, Gemini. Is this Gemini or Libra? This is Libra. Yes. If it resonates, if it resonates, Libra, go over to the website, book there, ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the um, Buy Ella Coffee link. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. How you can get notified when I am live is by subscribing and then clicking the bell button there in the corner. Uh, thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care.